Please find your way to higher ground. You see this? That's a black spot. And it has taken over that rose bush. They don't move. Don't don't move. You're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within. I can tell. Hey guys, welcome back. I went to the at home store yesterday, right? I also went to Home Goods yesterday. You guys saw that I bought that cabinet. So I put it in the bathroom and guess what? It did not fit. It was like too wide. So then I was like, let me put it in the hallway. There's no room in the hallway. So then I was like, can I put it in the kitchen somewhere? I don't have room for it in my kitchen. So that didn't work. So I was like, I could take it upstairs. That was another option. But I was like, I really didn't want it upstairs. So I put it in my living room. And at first I was like, mm, I don't know if it's gonna work. But after like seeing it like today and like last night, just sitting in the space, it actually worked. And I'm so happy that I actually got the cabinet and that I put it there and it works because, yeah. Do I want living room furniture right now? The answer is yes. Have I found anything I wanted? The answer is no. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, cause until I find something that I really, really want, I'm just gonna have to wait. Cause I'm not wasting no money on something that I just don't love. You know what I'm saying? Like. No, what I'm inspired by is French country. I like European designs and all of that. I like to mix modern with just a little bit of vintage. Like I do like vintage things, but when it comes to vintage, like here's the deal. I'm skeptical, very, very hesitant about buying other people's stuff, like flea market, going to flea markets and just areas like that. Like I'm really, skittish about that kind of stuff like it, it makes me cringe to buy other people's things because like you don't know like what other people are attaching to their objects so i'm always like ah. <laughs> it, it gotta be something that i really really love you know i bought a old chair from the thrift store and hubs hubs was like he's 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 worse than me like he he don't like other people's stuff either like he's really like worried about other people attaching their energy to things and we can y'all tell me watch a lot of like <laughs> horror movies <laughs> so anyways like i bought the chair and i put it in the guest bedroom up there because i used it for a skit for the annabelle skit i sit her on there like every every halloween she's in there just hanging out so that's her chair that's the annabelle chair when i've tried to get inspiration for this type of style that i like i'm realizing that a lot of times the furniture is not the focus. It's not. The focus is not on the furniture. It's the overall room. You know what I mean? So a lot of times these rooms will actually have like old furniture. Like the furniture will be kind of like worn. It will look like it has been lived in, lived on and everything else. So that made me really shift my focus and say like, my furniture looks fine. Even in my dining room, I thought about like getting a new dining room table. The verdict is still out on that, but character at a certain age, character is like actually what I really, what pulls my heartstrings. You know, if something hits me, I'll let you know. Anyways, what did I get from the at home store yesterday? Y'all, I got home and I was like, what the hell did I get? I don't even know if it's worth even talking about, but I basically got some more pots and I got this cute lamp. Let me show this to you right now. This lamp is so freaking cute. It is so cute. At first I was like, I don't know about the base. And I was not in love with it, but the shade. Yo, I had to get it because look at the freaking shade. It was, it was calling my name. It literally was speaking to me. So I was like, yes, I will take you home. I definitely, definitely will. It was $55. I know. I know it was it was it was a bit much but I was like I love the look and it goes in my kitchen and it just looks great in the corner <sighs> all right so that was that in the meantime I went to Lowe's today you guys oh my god I love Lowe's I get lost in Lowe's literally like you have to pull me out of there because I am in the flower section I'm looking at the plants I'm looking at inside 
I'm looking on the outside. I'm looking all over. I'm trying to see what I can find, right? So I got some more. I got two more of these. Like, I'm not in love with this plant right here, but I got it to go on that wall where I have my pictures hanging. It's like a bowl. You know what I'm saying? It's cute. Like, it's kind of... It's giving me like a modern feel. This is beautiful. This was $25, by the way. Listen, when I tell you this thing smells so good, that's an understatement. Let me show you the actual flower. Here it is right there. Isn't it beautiful? I picked up some begonias because these are actually going to go in the pots that are on my porch by my door so I was like I need to get something so I picked these up and they should be I mean they're not really high maintenance they don't require a whole lot of work I don't think they do so I mean you gotta water it twice per week that could be high maintenance depending on like what your lifestyle is like I got some verbenas because these have got to be like my favorites I love verbenas I mean they remind me of my mom. The verbena has to be like one of my favorite flowers. It's also a perennial, so it it will come back. Um, although I've had some that haven't come back, but here is a plant that I was like, I've never heard of this. And look at the leaves. It looks, <laughs> they look so, it's like such an intriguing plant. I had to get it because I'm like, I've never seen a plant like this before and where have i been right this is called a lipstick plant twister lipstick plant isn't that crazy look at that never heard of this plant before it is a house plant it requires medium light and um i'm just curious to see what it's gonna do oh my gosh i had to get this because it's so beautiful It is just the most prettiest thing. And I'm like, I had to grab this. I, I really did. I had a few, I had some roses in the back, but I was always like roses, you know what I'm saying? Like if you don't take care of them, you're gonna get, they're gonna get black spots all over them. So like they're very, they really are high maintenance. So if you're not into like the whole gardening thing, you may wanna like stay away from the roses. Although knockout roses are okay they can still get like the uh, black spots on them but not as often as you will see that regular roses do
I want to cut. cut. No, no, no. You see, you got to go all the way down. You got to go further down. Okay, yeah. I want to cut this whole thing right here. Cut okay. that down. That's going to take that whole section. That's going to take that whole section out the way. So, so right here? Yeah. Be careful with your head and stuff. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> Hey, be careful, be careful. Babe, don't move. Don't don't move. What? Hold on. Hold on. Wait, okay. Something. Alright, hold on, hold on, because it's disease, right? I don't want to touch it nothing. I get it in a minute. So this is basically right here. This is why I chose to cut that rose bush down. Cause you see this, that's a black spot. And it has taken over that rose bush. So I was like, let me cut it down. Let me start all the way over. Let me wash my hands and let me not use these gloves. Um, Cause all of this can transfer to another plant. Now the roses that I have now that I picked up today, they still do have some black spot on them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat them and hopefully it'll go away. This is what I picked up today. Right? It's supposed to be good for the roses. Um, this right here, it controls black spot, powdery mildew, rust, spider mites, aphids, white flies, and other insect pests. You can put them on roses, flowers house plants, ornamental trees and shrubs, fruits, nuts, and vegetables in and around the home and home garden can be used up to the day of harvest. So we're going to try this out. I need to get that up. All those little pieces, all those leaves right there and this right here. See, that's all contaminated.